Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Stake Insanity. I just wanted to give everybody an update um, since it's been about a week since my last update. And last time, if you remember, I was saying that I'd had a real challenge with staying on the diet. I'd been, I'd had quite a few cheat meals and I was struggling with staying off the carbs and, and getting back on track. And then the the day after that, my stomach just was really not happy with me, um, which was good. So it sort of made me realize that I kind of do, I'm, I'm a lot happier when I'm on the diet, just in how I feel and how my, my body reacts. So I've been much, much better. Um, I did have a couple of shows and things I had to go to this week, but I was pretty disciplined in what I ate. So I ate the best thing that I could. And believe it or not, like McDonald's has been probably my savior in that I could eat sort of eggs and sausage and that sort of thing first thing in the morning, which actually is quite filling for the day. And that would carry me all the way over till the mid afternoon. And then if I was absolutely starving, then at the show or whatever, I could just get a burger and just eat the meat. Um, which was totally fine. Or I could go to McDonald's and get like a double quarter pounder and just, again, just have the meat in that. So that's been quite good. I have gone out a couple of other nights. It was my son's birthday and some other things. We had some family stuff to do. I had some carbs, but I didn't have any bread. Um, so I would have like a sirloin steak and I might have a couple of chips or something like that. So um, I have had a minimal carbs. Um, but still more than strictly as what on the diet, the, the, what would be on the diet. Um, but again, I totally feel fine as long as I stay off of anything that's wheat or anything that's, you know, again, sort of processed. Um, I don't drink diet drinks. I did actually have a Coke because I was curious to see what would happen because I know I can't drink like Coke Zeros and Diet Coke. So I was really curious to see if I just drank a full fat Coke, what would happen? And again, like, I know everybody's going to yell at me. It's not on the diet, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I wanted to test it and see what would happen. I wanted to see if I got that same reaction from a normal Coke than I get from a, a zero, zero calorie Coke. And I totally don't. So from a, from a calorie standpoint and a processed food, yeah, okay, it's totally bad from that perspective. But what's interesting is when it doesn't have sweeteners in it, I don't get the pain, I don't get the joint pain, and I don't get the same reaction that I do from other things. So it it looks like I can I can eat some I can eat some carbs just fine. I can have milk and dairy, that's fine. I can have peanuts and macadamia nuts, that's fine. I can have full fat cokes, that's fine. Um, I can have some spinach and some uh, other little bits and pieces. It, I've just tried little bites of vegetables. I haven't eaten like a whole bowl of it, but I've had little bites of this and that and, and not had any problems at all. And again, let me just reiterate for maybe people who haven't seen some of my other videos. I don't do, I don't do carnivore diet or a, or a no carb diet for fat loss and weight loss. I do it because I have arthritis and tendonitis, and I have physical conditions that I'm trying to alleviate. Um, and that's why I do it. So I have been testing some foods that aren't strictly carnivore because I'm trying to see what can I eat and what can't I eat and what do I react to and what don't I react to. So the main things that are really out is, is wheat, anything with wheat in it, I just, I can't eat. Um, I really don't react very well to that. Just my gut d doesn't like it. Um, and from a from a joint perspective and an arthritis perspective, I absolute anything that has an artificial sweetener in it absolutely kills me. And I I get the pain within a couple of hours. It it starts back almost immediately. So I've worked that out. I haven't really lost any weight, or at least I don't feel like I have. I've I've I'm still on the same belt loop. Um, I've been, I've changed my workouts as well. So instead of running at a really high sort of zone three, zone four training, I've decided that the whole month of May, I'm going to do zone two training. 
So I'm keeping my heart rate much, much lower um, and, and staying in zone two. If I get into zone three, I slow down a bit and I'm really focusing on just staying there. I'm going to do that for all of May. I'm going to see what happens with weight and also once I go back, because allegedly all of the, the wisdom these days is, is if you want to really increase your stamina and improve your running, you need to train a lot in zone two. And then when you go back to run, it actually improves your stamina running. So I want to train the whole month and, and see how I feel in June. And I'll go back and do a few runs and kind of see, see how that works out. So I haven't weighed myself recently. The last time I weighed myself was about 94 kilos, I think, which is basically what I weighed before. Um, so I'm, but I feel totally fine with my weight. I have had some wheat in a few things that I've eaten and instantly I feel bloated, gassy, and it takes pretty much like a day for that to go away. So as long as I don't have any of that, I actually feel totally, totally fine. So that's my update for this week. This coming week is going to be a, a disaster for the diet in one respect, in that I'm going to have probably loads of alcohol. I've got trade shows I'm going to. We're going to be at. We're going to be out clubbing. I'm going to be with potential clients and customers and guests. Um, I'm gonna. I'm having my own party for my birthday um, for my podcast. So um, that's going to be at a pub. There's going to be loads of drinks there. I'm going to the Cambridge Beer Festival. So this is going to be, again, that's a, that's a work meeting. Um, so there's going to be loads of drinks there. But outside of that, I'm absolutely committed to staying on the diet absolutely as much as I can. So I'm really trying to plan how I'm going to eat around the drinking sessions and stuff. So if I eat beforehand and then maybe I'm not so hungry and I'm really going to try it, but I suspect that weight wise, I'll probably put on a bit of weight because I always do when I drink. But other than that, it shouldn't be too bad, I hope. So I will check back in next weekend and let you know how I got on. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.